Learning objectives include reproductive spores of filamentous fungi, and these are sexual spores. Sexual spores are produced in three phases. Uh, the first phase is called plasmogamy, where a haploid nucleus of a donor cell, which is called positive or plus, penetrates the cytoplasm of a recipient cell, which is called a negative or minus cell. The second stage is called karyogamy. Karyo means nucleus, and gamy means to unite. So here, a positive cell or plus cell, nucleus of a plus cell, binds or combines with a nuclei or nucleus of the recipient cell, which is negative cell, and then they form a diploid zygote. So the number N would become 2N here. And naturally, when the spores would be formed, it will split into N again. So there will be a third process which reduces the number of chromosomes to haploid number. And that we know that this is called meiosis. This is a, an example of a sexual spore that from the hyphae that are produced, they would give rise to there will be two strains, compatible strains, what we call a plus strain of a fungus and a negative or minus strain of a fungus. So plus would be a donor and minus would be a recipient. So these are haploid nuclei which combine to form a zygospore and then zygospore after fertilization, a combination of these two nuclei would give rise to diploid number and then this will go undergo meiosis and produce those spores and release. And these spores, they remember that they must be enclosed within a sac. So all these sexual spores, whenever they are produced, they are produced in a sac. After maturation, these haploid nucleus or nuclei within the spores would be released into the circulation, into the air, into the environment. And wherever they would land, they would regerminate into another hypha, and then hypha would produce another hyphae and would go through the same cycle, either sexually through this or asexually as we defined in another lecture earlier. This is another schematic representation of uh, the sexual spore cycle. As you can see, that 2N plus N, these are the two nuclei carrying the chromosomes, haploid numbers, they unite to make diploid numbers, and then diploid number would undergo meiotic division or meiosis, and then would, that meiosis step would create haploid number again. So this cycle keeps repeating in sexual reproductive cycle of these spores. So in summary, fungi, uh, they can reproduce by sexual as well as asexual mechanisms. Sexual spores are produced in three stages. The first is plasmogamy, where the cytoplasm, where the nucleus of one cell penetrates the cytoplasm, and then followed by karyogamy, where the two nuclei unite together, combine together, and then to uh, restore the same haploid number, the cell must go meiotic division. And that creates, uh, again, haploid number.